Hello, my name is Laura. What's yours? Today, I'm going to tell you a story about some animals looking for a new home. I'm going to be signing and speaking and we can sign together. Before I begin, I'm going to introduce you to some of the animals we'll meet. We're going to meet a badger, a badger, can you sign? A badger, a badger, very good. We're going to meet an owl, an owl, you try, an owl, an owl, well done. And we're going to meet a squirrel, a squirrel. Can you sign? A squirrel, a squirrel. Brilliant. Let's begin. Once upon a time in Greenwich Park, there was a large oak tree. Can you sign tree? Let's do it together. A tree, a tree, a tree. Very good. In Greenwich Park, there was a large oak tree and in the tree lived three animals. There was a badger, an owl, and a squirrel. Now, the badger lived in the roots of the tree. Can you try? Roots, the roots, the roots. Well done. The owl lived in the trunk of the tree. The trunk. The trunk. Well done. And the squirrel lived on the branch of the tree. A branch. A branch. Well done. One night it was very windy and the tree began to sway in the wind. It swayed and swayed and swayed until it crashed down in the ground. The poor animals were very sad. What are we going to do? said the squirrel. We're going to need to look for a new home, said the badger. And so they walked through the park. As the animals walked through the park, they saw a hill. They walked over the hill and then they saw a sycamore tree. The tree had a hole in the roots for the badger. It had leaves on the tree for the squirrel to build her nest. Oh no, there was no hole in the trunk for the owl. Never mind, said the squirrel. The next tree will be perfect. And so they walked on. The animals continued to walk through the park. They passed a pond and they passed some rocks. And then they saw a cherry tree. Can you sign? A cherry tree. A cherry tree. A cherry tree. Well done. There was roots at the bottom for the badger. There was a hole in the trunk for the owl. 
but there was no leaves on the tree for the squirrel to build her nest. Never mind, said the owl. The next tree will be perfect. And so they walked on. The animals walked through the park and there they saw a garden where there was some food growing. In the garden, there was an apple tree. Can you sign? An apple tree, an apple tree, an apple tree. Very good. The apple tree had lots of leaves for the squirrel. It had a hole in the trunk for the owl. Oh no, but there was no hole in the roots for the badger. Never mind, squeaked the squirrel. The next tree will be perfect. And so they walked on. The animals walked through the park. They walked past a stream. They walked past some deer that were eating some grass. And then they came to a chestnut tree. It had a hole in the roots for the badger. It had a hole in the trunk for the owl. And it had some leaves on the tree for the squirrel. Oh, they were so happy. This is our perfect home, they said. But then three animals came out of the tree. There was a fox. Can you sign? A fox, a fox, a fox. Very good. There was a robin, a robin, a robin. Well done. And there was a beetle, a beetle, a beetle. The fox said, this is our tree. You can't stay here. <gasps> oh, please, said the badger. We're looking for a new home. Our tree fell down on the windy night and we've been walking all day looking for a new home. Hmm. The fox, the robin and the beetle all huddled together and started whispering. The badger, the owl and the squirrel were very worried. But then the fox said, yes, you can stay in our home. And then all the animals lived in the tree. The end. Did you like that story? Can you remember any of the animals that we met? We met a badger, a badger. We met an owl, an owl. We met a squirrel, a squirrel. We met a fox, a fox. We met a robin, a robin. And we met a beetle, a beetle. Well done. Thank you so much for listening to my story today. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.